Hey guys, it's Major Nippy Betts from the Scholarship Leadership Institute. We've got some great information for you today, whether you are in the program or actually have been in the program, because I'm going to introduce you to a couple of things. One, if you're getting student um, loan information or financial aid paperwork, we're going to just talk about that for a quick second about your sample award letter, because I want to make sure that you kind of know what you're looking at. I've had some questions from a couple of students, so I said, let me address that real quick. So for those of you in the program, this is one of those benefits so you don't make a mistake that you can't go back and change. And we'll talk about that. We'll understand a little bit between what is it to be um, subsidized and unsubsidized loans. We'll look at a sample award letter real quick. And then I want to talk to you all about this new VIP thing we have here where some of you, some of you know what you're doing and you just you did the boot camp, got you a good price at it or whatever, and you're happy. You got some results from that. Some of you are in the membership. If you go look at the classic membership up here, and I'll send you the link for all of this. If you're in the membership, you guys are, are pretty fired up because you know what you have available to you. Some of you pay for the year up front. Some of you pay for the one-on-one -on -one plus where you got a one-on-one -on -one call with me and the whole year. All, and all you just pay 50 bucks a month. And after eight months, you get kind of access to everything. These are more self-paced things, the top two. However, I'm here every month for you. Whether you show up or not, I'm here. And the one-on-one -on -one plus, we do that one-on-one -on -one for you. And then you then go out and do the course. But we got a new thing called the VIP. We're going to talk about that because it's like the old coaching program, except instead of paying $6,000, it's half that price. And sometimes we might even have a sell on that where I work a little bit more with you in a closer fashion. We'll talk about that after we look at this sample letter. So let's get started here first with a sample award letter. Some of you are getting these right now for my seniors. And actually, my college kids who every year you get something like this as well. And it's a, it's a financial aid kind of sheet that tells you what the school is going to give you. So here you got grants and scholarships and you have loans. They call those financial aid. Back when my kids went to school and even when I went to college, financial aid meant money you're getting and you don't have to ever pay back. They don't do that anymore. Now they include it with loans. And they have different types of loans. This example doesn't have all the different types of loans, like, like loans you can get. So here you got the grants and scholarships, money you don't have to pay back. The fall and the spring semester, total 31000 That's a pretty nice scholarship. Pell Grant, money you get just based on need. And it doesn't matter. Some of you think you can only get a Pell Grant if you're broke. Depending on the school you're going to, if you're going to a school that costs $62,000, you can get a Pell Grant and be making a lot of money. You just have to look at the EFC, the Estimated Family Contribution. We've talked about that in the course, in the different modules. And so if you look at that, that's fine. You get your little Pell Grant. You get the SEOG. We talked about the Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant. It's just automatic money you get based on eligibility and it's first come, first serve. So if you wait to the last of the whole scholarship process, you might not get any, but those who apply early will get some of that free money. Free money is good. The loans though, there are two different types, subsidized and unsubsidized. And I want you to understand the difference here. And so I just kind of Googled it. What is a subsidized loan? Basically, it's you get, you're getting the interest. Um, it's, you're effectively getting your responsibility to pay that interest back waived with the subsidized loan. During that time period when you're in school, and six months, I think, afterwards, you don't pay any interest. And so if you pay everything off, um, the government will actually pay that for you uh, while you're in school, um, if you're in school at least a minimum of half time, during your post-graduation grace period. I think that's a six-month period. And then it's saying if you need a loan deferment. So they pay that interest for you. But after that grace period is over, once you start making the prepay, uh, repayments, the government stops paying on that interest and your repayment amount includes the original amount of the loan and the interest accruing from that moment after you finish school or after you start paying. So while you're in school, the government subsidizes your loan. Unsubsidized means if you get a loan, and you just saw it over here where this example they're giving you unsubsidized money, a thousand fall semester, a thousand in the spring semester. When you're getting an unsubsidized loan, let's look at it. It's, it's one where the government, you're responsible for the interest from the moment the loan money is dispersed into your account. There's no help on the interest. You're responsible for the whole amount. And so it starts accruing. So when you start paying back your unsubsidized loan, you're paying on the origin amount or the original amount and the interest that accrued since the unsubsidized loan was paid to you. This can, of course, add up to thousands of dollars more 
to repay over the life of a loan. I'm telling you, the PLUS loan, the parent um, loan, like unsubsidized something, the PLUS loan, parent loan, those things are ridiculously high. I know people who started, and they're, they're, their kids are now in college. They started way back when, and they've been paying on loans when they had 40 something thousand. Now they're up to almost 85, 90,000 in student loans on the parent. Now they're about to have kids going to school. So they sit there and you say, why would I ever take an unsubsidized loan? I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't unless I knew I was going to be getting some money. And so it's just not a good practice to take unsubsidized loans unless that's what it's going to take for you to graduate, get that degree, and then you can pay it back. Like doctors, you'll see doing that. People in those technical professions, you'll do that. That's That's okay, I guess. I would not ever want anybody to do that, but some people say, I got to have the money, and so that's on you. So when you say, which of these things should I take? Let me just tell you right now, if you're asking me, take all the free money. They say, yep, I will take that free money, and I'll take the subsidized money because I don't have to start paying any interest until later. So it's almost like no interest on it until after I graduate, whatever that grace period is, usually six months it could differentiate and vary, just like right now during this recording, they've been extending it due to COVID year, a couple of years almost now. So that's the stuff I wanted you to understand about the, the financial aid, the grants and scholarships and the loans. I can't tell you which one to take, but in this example, you got tuition fees, room, housing, meals, et cetera, books, transportation. That comes up to 61000 Dollars, but you got thirty nine thousand, so you're still short twenty one thousand, almost twenty two thousand dollars. I'm saying to you that if that's your shortage, you need to be working your behinds off. But not once you, you get to this level, you should have been working on this. And I know I'm not trying to say something that you can't change. I, why bring this up? And I'm telling the kids who can change it before it happens. If you can see the future, and this is the future for many of you. Start looking for scholarships when you're in middle school. Start looking for scholarships when you're in 10th, 11th. Start early so you can have the money necessary to pay this. We'll talk about it on another recording, but certain schools like the Rices and the Harvards and the Yales and the Stanfords and so forth, they've got situations where they punish you, where you might have enough money to go to college and they have a, they're going to give you enough money almost to go to college, but you need 20000 more and you go find money, they will deduct what they're going to give you. Um, as you bring in more money, dollar for dollar, they'll deduct it because your EFC, your estimated family contribution, and your FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, they all say you can afford mom and dad to pay this. When they say that, and then they're giving you a lot of money, Rice might be giving you 50,000 and they only need 15,000 to finish it up for that year. So 65,000, for example, and you bring in another 15,000 so that you're at 65,000, they'll reduce theirs dollar for dollar based on that 15,000. So you still owe that money. They'll take the money they were gonna give you from their endowment. That's another whole lesson. But for this one, I just want y'all to understand your award letter. You should be getting multiple award letters if you apply for multiple schools. If you only apply for one or two schools, that's all you're gonna get. And then you're say, oh, what should I do? Well, if that's the school you're going to get to go to, you just got to accept. I have to make up the difference. And the beauty of getting extra money, if you're at a school where they don't punish you, is when you get money, like you hear me talk about overpayments all the time, you can win enough scholarships, even in college, to take and give some of that money, put some of that money towards your student loans. And so we'll talk about that here in a second. I want you to understand, though. If you're a freshman in college, you can get a lot of scholarships. Sophomore in college, you can still get a lot of scholarships all the way through college, but especially those first two years. But you got to be willing to treat the scholarship search like a part-time job. I had a client recently tell me, hey, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. I've said that over and over and over and over. And I want you guys to understand that in our programs that we have, and you've seen multiple programs we have, whether it's the, the boot camp or it's the um, the monthly, if you look at the classic memberships up here, $50 a month thing, or, they, or some of you may be paying a little different thing if you came in as a group. Bottom line is that means you've got to go in and do the work. But one of the things I'm realizing is some of you want me, and I had a client recently who they just want, y'all won't let me stop. I wanted to get out of the business of working directly with you where I have to 
find scholarships for you. I have to remind you. I have to tell you individually what to do. Well, I've had clients who have convinced me that they need me to stay on them and be more involved and be in an environment where we have more accountability and um, just attentiveness to their kids, to the family. And so I'm going to do the one-on-one -on -one VIP program. It's similar to the program we used to do with the five to $6,000 program where we just took a kid and worked with them individually. But instead, we're going to do something different. And I think I already have it open. Let's see. No, I don't. I don't have it open. So I'll click it and open this up. And when I open it, basically, it's this program. And so if you're one of my former clients, or you have a little brother, a little sister who needs help, and you know what I did to help your brother or sister. And if your brother or sister didn't do anything but parents, you know that that kid didn't do what they were supposed to do, but you know what we teach does work. And you can use PayPal if you need to pay for it. But uh, And right now it's $29.99, but what I'm going to do, I think, is for those who have been in our program before, I'm going to give you like a almost $500 discount. So when you look at this, I'm going to give you basically the whole monthly membership. You still have access to that. Plus, you're going to be able to have four quarterly group meetings with a bunch of VIP, not a bunch, a few. I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'm going to limit it to four or six, but a few people who will have a special accountability type thing with where you still do everything in the monthly membership, but you also get that first one-on-one -on -one group uh, call individually with me where I'm going to work to help customize something for you. And then we're going to hold each other accountable, do little incentivized um, group chats. If you will, you'll see each other versus the webinar. So it's going to be a little different. Um, you'll be able to email me and text me. I'm going to make myself available to you, although you don't need me if you just did the course, but I understand it's not about just information. I'm learning that now. So if I give you all these other things that I'm going to be talking about to help facilitate your personal scholarship journey via live uh, live calls and uh, emails, I'm going to map out a plan for you to be doing certain things, creating a process for your individual kid, uh, whether they're ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, college freshman, whatever. We're going to help you filter through that noise and provide more clarity to you. I am going to work for you. I said I would never do this again, but I got one kid and his dad who just won't let me rest. So I'm going to do it for them, whether anybody else participates. But I think there are a few more of you who just need that extra little push, whether you're a freshman in college and you're like, okay, we're going to pay this stuff now for this first year, but my kid can get some extra money if Major Bets helps. I'm going to start working with you a little bit. But it's not going to be one-on-one -on -one calls with you every month like I used to do with the other kids. It's going to be four quarterly calls as a group. But between those calls, we're going to kind of give you things that you can be doing. There'll be one initial call with each individual and then quarterly calls after that. All right. Um, and so we're going to look at, you know, the processes of what to do and how to do it. I'm going to point things out to you. Like I got a middle school kid right now who I want to make sure he understands what he has his hands on. So I'm going to go into the course and dig out what I need him to be looking at right now, even though y'all should be doing the course without me having to tell you, but I understand some people need that extra um. And so what my goal is, I want you to get out of your own way and I want to help you get results by putting my hands in, in your processes just a little bit more and then we can email back and forth. So this is a new program. Some of you will want to do it and then I'm going to shut it down at some point based on how many people are trying to get in. I may raise the price, but right now it shows us $29.99. But like I said, I know I'm probably going to drop that for people who have been in our program, people who understand what they got their hands on and may have or may not have done the things they needed to do to utilize the program correctly. And so I'm going to give you an extra chance to do that. Now, we don't do the essays in this program for this. I can help point you in the right direction to people who can help you or systems that can help you. But I am not taking that on because some of you will try to break me. If I were to open that up, you'd come in with a whole bunch of essays because my job is to challenge you to do more scholarships, to do more work, to do more things that you're accountable for, to be a active participant. Mom and dad, I'm going to be tattling, tattling on them, letting you know what they are and are not doing. I take no responsibility for their success or failure with regard to their results. I take responsibility on telling them what they need to be doing so they can then go out and do it. But you, parent, have to help hold them accountable. I had one kid, I'm not calling any names, but once we did the little one-on-one -on -one, um, program where, you know, I think, what did I do here? Let's see where it was. Um, 
Uh, oh, it's Becca on the other side. It's a one-on-one -on -one program, like you, where you do the year and then a call with me. They did that first call with me, and that first week did four or five scholarships, did the essays. I was so excited. And then they say, I don't really need to do all this other stuff of the coursework because I get it already. That one call with them was good enough. Well, I don't know what they've done since, but my thing is I don't want to just say, okay, fly, be free. I want to participate with some of you for at least that year since this one kid and one parent have gotten me back in this to doing it. I really don't do this, guys, for the money. I do it to make an impact on other people. The money is helping me to pay the bills that I have in order to provide all the software and everything else I do to keep this process running. I have the staff who I pay to keep my website up. I have to pay all these fees to GoDaddy. And so these the monies you see help with that. And so that's what I'm still trying to do. So it's part ministry, part business. I'm looking for about four people to do this program with. I have one. I have a ninth grader, um, but I want a 10th grader, 11th grader, and a 12th grader. And a, I'll even take a college kid. If I had one of all of those, I might stop this program because I don't need much more than that. I just want to see if I can help people get the results that we used to get when we were having people make six figures um, easy with what the, st the stuff that I'm teaching, except we were more actively involved. I was finding scholarships here. I'll be helping to find scholarships for you. Here I'll be pointing in the right direction so that you can get those things and figure out which ones to apply for. I'll try to filter through a lot of the stuff that's in the course so that you can not be over uh, inundated with information. Membership sites like mine have so much information. Now, a lot of kids and parents don't know what they don't know and don't know where to get started and they don't want to do the whole thing. So I want to jump in and, and point you in the right direction and say, hey, do this, do this, do this, do that, do that. That takes time for me and I'm going to have to stop to do that, but at least I'm not having to participate individually every month with one or two calls with an individual kid. However, I can put a, get together an email and say, hey, how are you doing this? How's it going and whatever? And we can keep you focused and say, hey, we're meeting on this date. This is what I want you to do by that date. Mom and dad, this is what I expect them to do. And then there's going to be accountability. Did you do it? If you did, great. If you didn't, why not? And I'm going to be talking to you. That's what the VIP, the, you guys are very important. All of you are. But those who are in this program, I'm going to take a little more interest in working with you outside the monthly call that I do with the regular members who participate. And again, you can still participate in those monthly calls, but then quarterly, that group of people, we're going to be in a group where you can see each other if you show your faces, and we're going to be talking and asking questions and answering questions and trying to keep you guys focused a little bit um, more than you would be without, without me, even though you got all the information in the membership. Most of you don't need this program. But some of you do, and some of you will excel. If you would get 50000 by yourself, then maybe you'll get 100000 if we work together. I don't know what I don't know about that with, regarding results, but I do know that I'm really good at this scholarship thing. So for some of you are saying, oh, he's just trying to make some extra money. I'm, no, I'm not. I don't want you to do it. I don't want any of you to have to do this. But for those who need my extra help, because it's one kid and it's one parent, they have made me realize that although they can do this, they want that accountability. And they want and, and this guy doesn't really need me to even do this, but he wants his kids to take ownership and part of this process. I get it. And so I am going to make myself available because of my um respect for him and the fact that maybe God's trying and I did. I'm a, for those who know me, they know I'm a person of faith. And I was asking God, just give me a sign because I'm through regarding worrying or being concerned about the results. I'm just going to focus on, I was about to turn, take a membership and just make it low cost, put it out there and then just go sit on the beach and just say, hey, I'm giving them information. If they do it, great. If they don't, great. Give me a little bit of money to keep the business going. And that was it. But this guy is saying, wait a minute. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to help my kid. So I need you to help my kid. And I got another one coming right behind. And so I would work individually with that kid as well. And so if I'm going to do this anyway, because of my respect for him, then I'm going to open it up for a few more people. And so I want to make this available and we'll talk more about it. You'll get an email about it. The course, I don't even have it all the way set up with regard to uh, automated systems that normally provide information. So I've got to do all of that, but I'm going to send like tomorrow, I'm going to shoot the kid an email uh, this week anyway, 
just to kind of get him focused on, hey, we're about to get cranking here. And he said, even if we waited until May or June, he's okay with that. But whatever day we get started where I communicate with him, I'm going to start and we'll have a year after that to uh, to work together and get ready so that once his sister gets to maybe at ninth or 10th or whatever grade she's in, we're going to work with her too. All right. So anyway, that's that. Sorry for the long-winded thing. I normally will do this shorter since I don't see anybody there. If you're on a phone call, I can't see you, so you'd have to say something. Other than that, I'm going to stop. Today, we covered a couple of things. One is not well, three things, sample award letters. And so you'll understand, like you say, should I, shouldn't I take it? I say, take any money that they say is free to you. And you, and you can change your mind if I'm not mistaken. This is if you decide to, hey, yes, I want this. And see, what will happen is a lot of people say they want it. And then some will back out. And so if you're saying, hey, but then should I go apply for other schools? Yes, if you're trying to get to them, but know that you missed their window for financial aid, probably. And so I don't know what I don't know about those processes, because I know that there are people who they'll offer money to, and then enough of them will back out, Well, they'll have more scholarships still to give incoming freshmen. Um, um, uh, uh, another student who's already in, in freshman now trying to become a, junior, a sophomore, they'll have money for that. I don't know the individual school's process here. So the goal is, to apply for enough schools so you have options, school one, A, B, C, D, hopefully eight to 10 schools, preferably. And then when you have that, now you can compare them to each other and see which ones give you the better deal. You got to negotiate with these schools, guys. So anyway, that's all I have for today. So we talked about the sample award letter. We talked about the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized. Um, there's so much more we can get into this, um, especially if you're trying to go to a private school. That's the beauty of having me help you is because we can help help you get focused. I know a lot of you are already good at this thing, but I'm saying that if you decide that it might be helpful to have Major Betts working with my kid individually, even though I know a lot, I could use a little bit more information. We've got some kids getting six figures right now that are blowing me away just watching how they're doing what they're doing. And some of them are doing it in spite of me. I have 12 year olds with $10,000 and $20,000 right now. I just did a program at my church and I was listening to some of the money these kids are getting. And I'm like, there's no shortage. It's money. These kids are like elementary school, middle school. The high school kids are getting full rides to some schools and partials to other schools. And they're not trying to figure out now, what do I do? And see, this is where sometimes you need a little more guidance. The membership you can plug into those calls or shoot me an email and I'll answer it just like I'm answering this question. But if you want me to be more involved and kind of helping you cross that, be that traffic cop to help you cross this road and to help you avoid some mistakes that you could avoid, not saying we'll miss them all, but I can help you really well. So this whole thing is about getting you more information and more um, hands-on help if you need it. And so that's what the VIP program is about. Go out there and get this paper, guys. And if you're a junior, man, there's scholarships you can only get as a junior. If you're a 10th grader, next year, there's scholarships you can get only as a junior. If you know that now, you can be ready for your junior year. If you're a junior, just crank. Just, just get cranking. Some of you are going to work part-time jobs this summer. I'm going to say, oh, my God, if you're an AB student, instead of working part-time, let's get scholarships so that you can pay for college. But that's a whole nother lesson. All right. I'm going to stop now. Nobody's here this month, but that's okay. Because like I said, I'm here and I'm going to be here every month doing what I do for the members. And then those who are in the VIP, um, you get the benefit of having the membership and you get that whole quarterly group session, if you will, where we can kind of hold each other accountable and do a lot of the great things that I used to do in the former $6,000 SLI prep one-on-one -on -one program. Except the difference is it won't be me working with your one kid all the time, me having my people review the essays. And I mean, like uh, the Jonas Brothers wife, um, shoot, I can't, I can't remember her name. But anyway, we won that scholarship. They only gave one out last uh, two years ago, or last year, or two years ago. And my our kids won that in this program. And so and there's others that we get the, the one kid that will win certain things. And we win these big full time full ride scholarships at some of these big schools and some of them are just full ride that can go to multiple schools. In this program, I can maybe help you 
get some of that access that you might miss out on if you're going through the program on your own. So that's it. I'm not trying to sell you anything. If none of you do this, that's great. I'll help the one kid and then his sister when it comes time, if I'm still doing this thing, but I was ready to check out guys. And y'all have one parent and one kid to thank for this because I believe in them and they made me do this. And I put it together without even having anything behind it because I believe in them. They believe in me. And so I'm going to push to help them. Anyway, God bless. Take care. It's Major Betts from the Scholarship Leadership Institute. And for those of you who ever want to give a testimonial, then I don't care about how much money you made, just about uh, the process, about working with me, what it's like. I have some people who are, don't want to do that. And I get it. I understand, I guess, because they don't want people to know how much they got. I don't care about the money you made. I care about do you believe what I do helps you. And if it does help, if you go to our majorbets.com and look at the testimonials, you'll get an idea with some of those first couple of clips. That's all I'm asking is that if you believe we helped you, let me know so that I may be able to use it in an email campaign or something. And if you don't want me to see your face, just do an audio version of it. You know, it's different. It's just funny how people, you know, they have the different feelings about it and that's okay. I'm fine with that. But if you, just like I do recommendations and and um, what do you call it? Stuff like that for other folks. I'd like that return sometime for those who want to do it. God bless. It's Major Betts checking out from the Scholarship Leadership Institute. I hope this was helpful. Uh, get that sample award letter for my seniors. Uh, and if you're a junior or 10th grader, don't look at it and say it's not for me. You will be getting this soon enough. And the goal is... When you do that FAFSA, make sure you put those colleges down that you want to receive one of these from. And if you have more than 10 colleges, you're going to have to submit the 10. And then you're going to have to resubmit another group of scholar of schools after that grouping of 10 has already been sent and accepted. So you can get, if you have 20 schools or 30 schools, you have to do it multiple times to submit that. If you want to know more about it, plug into the monthly calls or send me an email, and I will make sure we teach more in depth on that, okay? Anyway, I'm checking out from the Scholarship Leadership Institute. It's major bets. I sure hope I hit record on this because I would hate to have missed out on this recording. Yep, it's recorded. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.